It's a time for Package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the HD Retro 128 game Super Console. It's a very long time that did an 8-bit system review here on the channel. I mean, with we can play in physical cartridge in. So this is what we're going to get with the Famicom. We're going to get an HDMI, but also an AV solution. Here on the channel, just going to take a close look at it, just to see what it is, how good is the quality, and what's inside the box. All right, so let's take a close look inside. What are we going to get? So we're going to get the system, HDMI cable. It seems to be having two controllers. Power supply and we're going to get the special multi-game card, the 5 on 1 from Pow Kitty. But I find it very fascinating to see that we're having a lot of different consoles out there. But this thing, I think it's really promising, not only because of the multi-game card. We're going to get the system, all the cables necessary, including an adapter. And of course, we're going to get the controls. Let's take a close look at the controls, how good are these? Okay, so the first thing I did notice with this controller that it feels quite nice. It doesn't feel like the original Nintendo quality controllers like back in the day. But still, I have seen and felt a lot of shitty controllers. And this thing doesn't even smell chemical. So that's quite promising. So let's try the game later on this video and let's see how these controllers are playing. Okay, so the console itself, we're having an on and off switch and reset. We're also having the cover. Feels quite nice to be honest. It's not a really flimsy plastic. The ejector seems to be working. At the front we're having two original connectors and an LED. But at the back here we're going to get very interesting things. Not only the HDMI and the AV out, so we can choose if we're going to go retro on our CRT or on an HD television with HDMI. We're having the DC5 in, that is just basically a 5 volt. But also what we're going to get is an S-Space Ratio knob over here. So we can switch between 4x3 and 6x9. So that is something you don't see very often on this Chinese system. So HDMI, S-Space Ratio change. That sounds really interesting. Let's see how good this cartridge goes in. Wow! Okay, that doesn't look very promising. <laughs> but the cartridge is clicking very easy. And that is really unique. That's going to say that is super rare nowadays. Alright, so the system has booted up. I'm very curious, can we switch when it's powered on? Let's see if this works. Where's that little switch? Oh crap, I messed it up. Reboot! So it's very sensitive with the cartridge. Okay, let's boot it up. Oh, it just basically stopped working. Just freaking great. So what I think is pretty cool, you can switch between 4x3 express ratio and widescreen when you're playing. This is quite interesting. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. Why do I have this feeling that the game runs on turbo mode? Oh crap, crap, crap! Beat good. Hmm. That was in the back pussy. Beat good. Beat good. Express ratio. Oh yeah, white screen. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Ah! The controllers play very nice. Need to get used to it. All right, so it's time for a little bit of Kung Fu Mario, people. Froggy, yeah, yeah. give me some food. So when you boot up the device itself without a game card, it has built-in games, 121. But as you can see, there are only homebrew games. Like Roadman! And these are exactly the games you can find on this mini arcade machine in your local shop. Oh, it's kind of funny game, more like a quick puzzle game.
So that's it. Okay, so let's open it up and let's see what we're going to get in the inside. And I just realized, oh no, I was thinking I just realized I'd gotten too big of a screwdriver. It's going to break the seal. Oh yeah, there goes my warranty. Okay, so let's do a quick ETA Prime moment just to check out what's inside this me machine. So nowadays we don't need a lot of PCBs or we don't need a lot of stuff inside. And you can see that a lot with these clones. So most of the time what you're going to get is over here what you can see in PCB, especially for the connectors because the cartridges are old school and big. This is the board that is for the output for the AV out HDMI and also contains all the necessary parts for express ratio swapping inside the game and hearing the micro USB for charging up and that is going to be for the power in. Okay, so fun fact, as you can see, the PCB has been made in 2018. So when making this video, this system is already, let's say, at least more than two years old. All right, so let's remove the screws and let's see what we're going to get with this PCB. The front one that contains the on and off switch and the reset button. There's not a lot of information over here, but you can see this piece of plastic that goes over the button. The LED, the way how they made it, they just bend it so it fits perfectly in the hole. Hearing the connection port, but there's not a lot of stuff going on over here. And the middle PCB, of course, I already mentioned, this is for entering the cartridge. But also, it contains over here the chip for the 121 games that are on the system itself. Quite interesting. I'm just going to put it back in. Because otherwise, it's highly possible I'm going to mess up the ribbon cables. I really hate the ribbon cables. I am not afraid to say that is one of the best... Let's say Famicom clones I have seen from China. I've reviewed so many of these 8 bit clones, but this thing is not bad at all. So, when it comes to the controllers, the controllers, hmm, they are okay. So, if you're looking at the cables, it's very flimsy. They play okay, but they're not the quality like the original Nintendo controllers from back in the day. I really love design, I really love the Famicom design in general, but it's just a fun item to play your original games on HDMI. So yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and I will see you in the next video.